Wow, season 177 is over. What a great, great uh, week it was. And thank you all for everyone who participated. It was just a marvelous, marvelous time. And I'm honored with the, uh, with the effort and the passion everyone showed. And so now it's time to uh, award the prizes, which I used uh, by a random number generator program. And the prizes, the, the top two prizes are behind me. There's the Merle Fest long sleeve tie-dye t-shirt, and that will go for the winner of the best cover. And using our random generator, that is Ralph for Polythene Pam. There were no, there's no bribery here, just because Ralph happens to be in charge of the seasons, it completely at random. And Ralph, thank you very much for inviting me to the party. First prize for best original song. The number generator game came up with Casey for buying tickets, which was covered once or twice also during the course of the week, which is great. It's wonderful. And so uh, Casey gets the support local music t-shirt from West Virginia. Now, second prize is going to be a poster from Merle Fest 25. I'm going to try to insert the picture in this video if my technology works. If it doesn't, I will post a thumbnail of the poster. So it's a poster for Merle Fest 25. 25th anniversary of the festival, along with the Merle Fest ma refrigerator magnet right here. And that goes to Dennis Danner, who did The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down. Third prize goes is, what is the third prize? Third prize is the poster from this year's Merle Fest, the promotional poster. that uh, I distributed along with lots of other people on the Merle Fest street team in various stores and, and, uh, and establishments and bars and taverns promoting all the artists who appeared at the festival. And that goes to Jeff, who happens to be our current host in 178. And that is for his version of Don't Think Twice. Now, second prize for best original song goes to Mama Yuke Bonsai for a time machine. And that prize is the poster from the 2008 Merle Fest, which has some wonderful photographs of Doc and Merle and others. And uh, those posters, again, I'm going to try to post the image, but anyway, the two from the festival have never been put in a frame or anything like that, so they're still ready to be put in a shipping tube and suitable for framing or however you want to handle it. Then finally, there is the, uh, the host's option for the most noteworthy or unusual performance of the week. And that winner is going to get uh, two things, a hand fan from banjo.com, which is uh, nice on warm and muggy days like this, and a thumb drive from Tweetsie Railroad in Blowing Rock, Blowing Rock, North Carolina, which is a cheesy old uh, theme park where there's a railroad train and some fake cowboys and Indians and all sorts of uh, inappropriate and politically incorrect stuff that goes on. Uh, I got this in a press release package, but there's a real live USB thumb drive inside this train. So that is the, uh, the host's uh, special achievement award. And that certainly has to go to uh to to jim for his version of stage fright with the electric kazoo and that was a really tough one to pick but uh but uh, the electric kazoo i think put things over the top so anyway folks thank you so much for the opportunity to host and uh, i hope to do it again soon and uh keep on seasoning folks <laughs>